up guys, Mago here and I have some news for you. Um, you probably heard about this, but at first we had the Man of Steel sequel and we were like, cool, the first one was pretty good, the second one will be awesome, and then they're like, hey, it's Batman versus Superman, and we were like, what? No way, that's so cool. And then they're like, yeah, let's throw in Wonder Woman, and we're like, whoa, man, Justice League, too soon, let's not get crazy. And then they're like, Jesse, Jesse Eisenberg's gonna play Lex Luthor, and we're like, indie movie? We don't know what's going on at this point, but I'm just gonna sit back and like, just let it roll, cause we don't, who cares? Really, who cares right now? <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna turn out. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to be pleasantly surprised. I don't know about the age differences between Lex Luthor and Ben Affleck p playing Superman. I mean, wow. <laughs> See, even I'm confused. Um, I don't know about the age difference between Lex Luthor and um, Batman because it's Ben Affleck and then Jesse Eisenberg, and there's a significant difference there, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait, wait it out because I am at a loss for words. Quentin Tarantino um, is not doing The Hateful Eight anymore because somebody leaked his script. He gave it to six people and he used the process of elimination and got it down to two. I hate you both because that movie sounded awesome and he was talking about how doing a western he's become so seasoned in that genre and he was very excited for it and now he's going to publish it but he's not actually going to make the movie yet. It's been currently shelved. And that sucks because I really really like him but he says that he has 10 more where that came from. So let's hope that it's just as good. During the Super Bowl over the weekend, the trailers for The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Transformers The Age of Extinction, and there's one more, Captain America Winter Soldier. Um, they all looked really awesome, and I don't know if anybody saw The Age of Ultron, um, the Avengers sequel trailer. It didn't show at the Super Bowl, but there's been one circulating the YouTubes, and it shows Iron Man's mask transforming into Ultron's mask. I don't know what it means! But um, it looks really awesome, and all of the trailers looked awesome, including the Muppets. And now on to Watson. It was a movie today. That's all the news I have for you guys today. Now on to Watson with a movie review. And to make Arthur happy, I'll dance a little bit. Just that's all. Just a little bit. Ah, uh, you know me. <laughs> if not, I'm Waddy McFly. Today I'm going to review Prisoners. It's an awesome movie. Uh, has Hugh Jack, Jake Jill. And uh, basically it's about uh, this guy who's, you could say he's a little overprotective um, and you know, he's very big on safety and stuff like that and always having his, the older siblings and the younger siblings to watch out, but one day he makes a mistake and lets his kids go. And his the little kids are supposed to, why am I telling you the whole story? Let's just jump right into the good stuff. The kids get kidnapped. And this father has to tr is really upset and wants to find his kids, and he'll do anything to do it, his, including kidnapping someone, even though he has a brain of a ten-year-old. Um, it has amazing actors in it. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal playing a detective, uh, super awesome. Uh, Hugh Jackman though, just obviously rocks it. Um, but what I think I give the best performance to is uh, the one who plays the guy who gets kidnapped. Bob is Paul Dano, who is also the star of Ruby Sparks and a couple other great movies. Um, this movie is definitely worth seeing. It just came out on uh, DVD, so you should go pick it up at Redbox and check it out. Um, it was very intense though. There's a lot of it really, and it's a three hour movie of pure intenseness. And so there was a moment where I was just like, okay, I got it. Like, I am tired of being so intense. Tell me what is going on. But, I mean, it, it has a really cool, different ending. And, uh, yeah, I definitely recommend it. So, please, I'd say see it in theaters, but it's not theaters, it's in Redbox. So, go Redbox it. Hey, hey everyone, it's B, and I'm doing our hipster corner um, for our movie, my hipster movie review. I'm doing Porco Rosso. It's a Miyazaki film, so it's anime, which. This is a very different kind of anime film. It's not like your typical like TV show. I don't even know any of the TV shows anymore. Was that Naruto? Is that how you say that? Sorry. Naruto. Naruto. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I like Miyazaki films, and this one is probably my favorite. It is about a pilot in the 30s, and he has been cursed to look like a pig, and he does his own like solo kind of stuff. He's a bounty hunter, thank you. I knew what I was talking about. He's a bounty hunter, so he gets all the bad pirate pilots, 
pirate pilots. <laughs> and it's really fun and it has a different comedy. Michael Keaton does his voice, Porco Rosso, which is, you know, super awesome. And the chick who does Meg's voice in Hercules, like the cartoon, which is like my favorite. She does the voice of the main chick in it. And it's just a very interesting movie. It's not your typical everyday animation film. I totally recommend it. It is, it was a little old, it came out in like 92 or 91. But it's, if you like Miyazaki films, you definitely should go watch it. So that is it for all of our movie deliciousness for you people. Please subscribe and like us and subscribe again and then post it on Facebook and tell everyone to subscribe. And also comment and then after you comment, tell someone else to comment and subscribe as well. Yeah, Thanks. do that. Yeah, 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 do that. <laughs> yeah. No one likes Satan. <laughs>